What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm from Radio Gamer 95 back for some more Feeding Frenzy 2 Shipwreck Showdown. So, last time we completed Layla's Path, and now we're moving on to Eddie the Angler. Now, take a look at what's seen on the screen right now. Why is Eddie's name suddenly spelled E D I E when it was E D D I E before? <clears throat> Not only that, but apparently Eddie's gender changed and he's now a she? Yeah, it's a little strange. Eddie's the only returning character who we play as for the first Feedy Frenzy, yet all of a sudden he, uh, she, they? Their gender changed? I don't know, it's weird. Not that it really does anything, I mean, Eddie controls as they always have. But here, we're reintroduced to those stunning jellyfish. If you uh, make contact with the jellyfish, you'll be stunned for a little while. Might might just be enough to screw you over. And as you might expect from an anglerfish, we actually will be coming across some dimly lit stages. They're not showing up right now, but trust me, they're going to show up soon. Ooh, a black pearl, nice. And as you can imagine, playing in Blackout Basement is not fun. It's not fun. Okay, I can already eat the big red fish. Which is good because I was about to get eaten by one. Ooh, a white pearl! They didn't get eaten. That guy almost did actually. Nice. So, as you see here, we're seeing a lot of returning elements of the first feeding frenzy. Yeah, see, look, now the meter is barely filling up. Luckily, the clams don't close as fast as they did in feeding frenzy one. Plus, like I said, they actually shake now they're about to close. Ooh, a one up, nice. I'd like to go to the next size if I could help it, but yeah, that keeps happening. Those fish that I want to eat keep swimming into the bigger guys. On top of that, I'm trying to keep my eye out for pearls. Yes, like that. Yeah, see, I'm still like a quarter of the way there. Oh my lord, that was so close. Oh yeah, yeah, that was very close. Yeah, if you guys didn't believe that this game is so much harder than the first, let that be the shining example. I literally cannot see that guy, and I almost got my ass eaten. Hopefully just about there, yes. Now, I can actually, uh... Now I can actually be more heroic. Luckily, I don't see any of the, uh... The barracudas or the sharks or whatever, so... I can just go nuts. But I still gotta watch out for those clams. Nope, I'm not risking that, which I almost got eaten. Luckily, I didn't. Okay. Climb is closed. I think I'm just about there. No, I'm not. Okay, now I'm there. Just give it a sec. Uh, I'm not there. Oh, there it goes. Okay. That was weird. I thought it was there, but that red fish was still in the corner. Yeah, by this point in the game, you really can't go for combos anymore. Because, like I said, this game is brutal! Just like I said in the beginning. Let me see here. Young young African pompadours stay in shallow reef areas while adults can be found around deep shipwrecks. Let's see here. Ah, the twilight zone of the sea. A death where, the midnight zone, a death where no sunlight can penetrate. Yes, although the... Uh, as you saw back there in the first stage, the jellyfish can stun the AI controlled fish as well. Unfortunately, the stun doesn't last very long, regardless of who takes the hit. So just be cautious. And also, if you use the suction ability, keep in mind that it's gonna suck up everything. Uh... Okay, let's just try that again. Yeah, and a white pearl showed up too. That was the worst part. This is where the speed bonus is, speed bonus really is a bit of a, a bit of a curse. Well, those shrink shrooms will help a little, but we still have to be on our toes. Okay, keep an eye for a black pearl if I can get it. Yes, the black pearl is probably going to be your best bet, provided you don't get eaten first before you actually grow to the next stage. You should be okay. Okay, good. Now, cruise to the next size, that's the important thing. Ugh. White Pearl really isn't that helpful anymore. Already, right? It's only the third world of the game. Okay. 
I haven't seen any of the barracudas or the leopard sharks that ever show up. They have a little bit bigger, so I can. I don't have to look at the corner, I could just press RB, but still, I, I always forget about that. Come on, don't lag on me. This game doesn't require online, last I checked. Okay, there's a school bonus, white pearl. Uh, I guess I can't get it. Oh, you son of a. Bastards teaming up like that. I'm glad I didn't get that white pearl now. Ay, ay, ay. Get it? Yes. I think I just barely got it too. Okay. Wow, he was really stuck in there, wasn't he? Okay. Chow for it. Yep, of course you do that, you piece of crap. Okay, watch out for any anything showing up from the left. Frenzy bonus. Okay, I really don't want to grab that speed boost. So like I said, it's just a pain. It's just a, a curse at this point. Come on, dick. Come on, I'm almost there. Yes, now I can play recklessly. Yeah, this is the point where you're gonna have to play ultra cautiously going forward. And even if you reach the biggest size, it's only gonna get harder down the road. Cause they may not they may not be showing up right now, but we still have to worry about the uh the leopard sharks, the barracudas, and all those other ginormous guys. So they can swim up to fifty miles per hour. Interesting. I see, yep, we're already in the midnight zone. Eddie's angler is used to see a little bit in the dark, but you're not going to see very far. You need to eat these glowing plankton or to extend the view. That was close. Or you can eat a light bulb bubble to brighten up the entire screen. Unfortunately, it's not going to last very long. That was like, what, five seconds? Anyway, I got lucky right there. Come on, grab the, grab the thing! Why not make up for one of the lives that I lost back there? At least there are no clams to worry about here, so... Could be a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. Like, you're not gonna get those bonuses. Mega frenzy. I can't use... Okay, good. I can't use the suction ability on account of... Uh, sucking at a fish bigger than I am. Okay. And I don't know if you guys can tell here, but that meter is just barely filling up. Okay, could have used that earlier game. Okay, it's just one of those red fish. Let me see here. Okay, it's a blue one, so watch out. Really wish that the uh, luminous and plankton contributed to actually grow a good size, but that's not the case. Okay, now I can basically play however I want. There are no giant predators to worry about, so I think I got this in the bag. Hey, at least those uh, plankton contribute to the frenzy combo, right? Uh, but all it really does is get you a higher score. Super frenzy. Got another extra life. Made up the two lives that I lost. Okay, let me see here. The humphead wrasse is one of the largest reef fishes in the world. Fishes? Shouldn't it be fish? Alright, bonus stage. Eat th try to eat 33 minutes and 7 plankton in one minute. Gee, that's not a lot of plankton. Yes, those are plankton. I wasn't kidding when I was calling them that. Although, I'd imagine plankton are much smaller. Let's see here. It's only 40 that you have to deal with, but your light sources are limited. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> At the time of recording this, Spongebob came out, and for some reason, for some god-given reason, A is jump and Y is attack. And even though I was able to work around that by using the Switch's button mapping, somehow my mind is thinking A is right and B is down. Yeah, it's if it, yeah, it's obvious I grew up with Nintendo, huh? Let's see here. Oh wow, look at this thing. Who's that mysterious fish? Things definitely don't look inviting anymore! See? It's exactly what I mean! 
Uh, anything but the speed up. Crap. Okay, the Shriek Shrooms would be a big help. Oh, that actually helped quite a bit. Come here, you ass! You're mine! I got you fair and square. Okay. There's no meter that tells you when your ability can be used again, your suction ability. But I'd say you're good to nearly spam that move. If I could actually get that light, that'd be real swell. Ah, yeah, yeah. Here, suck that in. Even the jellyfish would get sucked into, uh. Sucked in with the vacuum. Okay, I can actually eat the red fish now, so. Let's go ahead and do this. Although, I guess that is a part of a strategy. Since you do suck in the jellyfish as well, you could lure it into a predator. Or, I guess, suck it, drag it to a predator. Okay, I can eat the red fish. <sighs> Come on. Oh, oh, that was super lucky. I'm so lucky that guy was stunned. Wow, okay. No, I want to get that. I already ate that guy. I don't know what I'm doing. Triple frenzy. Okay. Super frenzy. Let's lighten up the room. Come on. I'm right there, man. Come on. Okay. Now I should. I don't have to worry as much. Super okay. Frenzy. Let's just go ahead and see what I could do. Maybe I could go for a high score. I don't know. Okay, that's it. At least I'm not playing a time attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be impossible. Super it was already hard in the first Feedy Frenzy. It's practically impossible in this one. As you just saw, the third world was brutal. Yeah, that was seriously it. Eddie's world is the shortest of them all. Let me see. Leopard sharks for form schools and often spend time with these groups alongside smooth hound and dogfish sharks. Alright, so that's it. That's Eddie's path. And I know this is going to be a bit of a shorter video, but I'm actually going to call it quits here. So next time with Feedy Frenzy 2 Shipwreck Showdown, we're going to be moving on to Peter the Pompano's path. See you then.